Welcome to Cooking with Kakashi. Today, we're trying to make a super sour burger. Thought of this makes me want to puke in my mask. So, in a recent episode of Baruto, they go to a restaurant called Thunder Burger. They order this unique new burger flavor called the Super Sour Burger. We're gonna try to make this thing and eat it. Let's start off with the basics and make a good burger. Cutting board. Two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. We're gonna make half pound burger, so we're gonna cut this into four equal parts. All right, without handling the meat too much, we're gonna form little patties. We're gonna make a little divot in the middle so it doesn't puff up while we cook it. All right, check that out. Now we go over to the stove top. We're gonna throw down a cast iron pan. Set this thing to medium high heat. We're gonna salt and pepper our patties on both sides. And once our pan's been heating up for three to four minutes, we're gonna throw in a tablespoon of grapeseed oil. And then we lay our burgers in. We're gonna do two at a time. Now we're gonna cook these for four minutes on each side. and cook for another four minutes. Do a quick wipe. And toast our bun in there. Should take about 30 seconds. Rotate these guys halfway through, and we got a nice toasted bun. All right, so while we got our burgers resting for a couple of minutes, we need to prep the topping. Now in the video, it looks like super thin lemon slices. Let's get the mandolin. Here we go. Set this to thin. Cut our washed lemon in half with our washed knife. Let's slice. And check that out. Perfectly even slices. I'm just gonna pop out any seeds. Those are poisonous. Let's build this burger. Start with the burger patty, followed by a piece of lettuce, and we throw our lemons right on top. Make sure there's a bunch. Throw some mayo on our top bun, and our super sour burger is complete. It's time to try this thing. Mask is coming off. All right. Hmm. This is actually the worst thing I've ever... Oh. oh my god. This show's unrealistic. Let's see if we can make something better. We're gonna make an edible sour burger the only way I know how. Start off with a lemon. We're gonna zest the entire thing. Make sure there's not too much white showing. That part's bitter. We only want the yellow peel. All right, reserve that off to the side. Big cutting board. One and a third pound of salmon. I'm gonna cut these in half. And then amateurly filet. Probably need to work on that a little bit. Moving on. Just wipe down our cutting board. We're just gonna cut these into one inch cubes. Cubes of salmon, off to the side. And we're bringing in a food processor. We're gonna throw in a quarter of our salmon, along with two tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs, tablespoon of mayonnaise, a spoon of capers, a pinch of our lemon zest, use from half a lemon, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, half teaspoon of salt, and pepper. Lid on, and we're gonna make a paste. All right, check that out. Now to our paste, we're gonna add the rest of our salmon, along with a quarter cup of green onion. Cover that back up, and we're just gonna pulse a few times. We just wanna chop up those pieces and incorporate with the paste. Now we just lay down some parchment paper and scoop out our salmon mixture. Kinda of bring this together and split into four equal parts. And now I got a bowl of water here. Wet your hands, form these guys into patties. Then we're just gonna cut these guys out. I'm just gonna transfer these over to a baking sheet. If we cook them now, they're just gonna fall apart. So we're gonna let them set up in the fridge for about an hour. 
All right, well, those are setting. Let's make our super sour aioli. We're starting off with a room temperature egg. This one's right out of the fridge. So I got a glass of lukewarm water. We're gonna let the egg sit in there for about two minutes. In the meantime, let's juice our zested lemon. There we go. And let's get some fresh dill going. Just gonna chop up about a tablespoon. And it's food processor time again. First thing we're doing is making mayo. Take your lukewarm egg, crack it right into the food processor. Some people separate the yolks, you don't have to. Put the lid on, and we're gonna turn it on for 30 seconds. All right. This we add a tablespoon of Dijon, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Lid back on, process for another 30 seconds. Now let's scrape down the sides, lid back on, and turn it on. Now we have a cup of grapeseed oil. We're gonna add the first quarter cup, only drops at a time. This ensures this emulsifies. Now that the first quarter cup is dripped in, it starts streaming in a little quicker. All right, let's check it out. We got homemade mayo. Now we just scoop this into a bowl, along with half a cup of sour cream, lemon zest, and a half teaspoon of salt, and pepper. Our lemon juice, super sour. Dill, mix that all up. And we got a super sour sauce. Way too much for four burgers. We're gonna cover it, let that sit in the fridge with our burger. All right, burgers have been chilling for an hour. Let's give these a quick salt and pepper. And let's go make one. Medium high heat, tablespoon of oil. And let's throw down our patty. Hit it with salt and pepper on the other side. And we're gonna cook each side for three minutes. Flip. All right, that's ready to go. Toast our buns quick. Perfect, let's go build. Bun patty. Gonna throw some avocado on there. Normal person probably go arugula. Too bitey for me, so we're doing spinach. And now our lemon aioli. And we got a super sour burger. Mmm, and it's actually good. Take that, Baruto. Shout out to Josh York for the super sour burger idea. Thanks, buddy. And if you guys like this and you wanna see more, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.